Okay, good morning, everyone. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, we are going to record this uh, so that if you want to uh, view this later, we'll send this out to you as a link. Uh, also, we'll send you out the presentation. If you have any questions this morning during the, the webinar, if you would, uh, type them in the chat feature, and then at the end, we will go through and answer those uh, for you during the, at the end of the presentation. So again, welcome and thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, hopefully everybody's staying warm and has power. So this morning we're gonna talk about earning your way to camp um, through our spring online popcorn sale. Many of you have probably participated in our camp card sale in the past. Uh, we did make a little bit of a change this year and, and opted to go with a uh, spring online popcorn sale. So just to give you some impact of the online sales, and this was from our fall sale. Uh, that started in August and, and from the time period of August first through December 31st, uh, Scouts in the Michigan Crossroads Council sold over $462,000 in online sales. Uh, the average order was $48, and that was about 9,400 uh, individual orders. So pretty significant uh, numbers there, just to show you the impact that this sale can have um, in the spring as well. So here's our, our sales timeline. Uh, we're doing this webinar this morning and the sale will officially begin on February 15th and conclude on April 15th. Now, even though the sale ends on April 15th, scouts can continue to sell. Um, but for this particular program, it will end on April 15th. And I would just mention that throughout the sale, you'll want to watch for some incentives that we'll be doing for scouts and units uh, to help increase sales and, and encourage scouts and, and parents um, to uh, participate in the online program. So here are some of the benefits to the scouts. It obviously helps them earn their way to camp. Um, Scouts can participate in this program even if the unit is not. So if the unit decides not to do this or has not done popcorn in the past, that doesn't preclude a scout from participating. So scouts can participate even if the unit is not. There's no inventory to manage, nothing to, to deliver. Um, the products will ship directly to the customers and a little bit different uh, than our fall sale is that there are is free shipping on all orders. So any order that's placed, uh, there's no shipping charge. Everything is free shipping um, throughout this. Oops. So some more benefits, uh, it takes about less than 10 minutes to create an online account. If a scout doesn't have one already, uh, scouts can earn advancement and achievements um, for a variety of things uh, throughout the sale. The uh, site, and we'll share the site with you shortly, uh, is mobile friendly, very easy to sell. And the sales that scouts do accumulate through the spring online sale count towards their Trails End Scholarship Program. So that's $2,500 in a calendar year. Not sure why I've got all those annotations there. There we go. Some benefits to the units. Uh, it helps scouts earn their way to, to camp. And we all know that scouts 
helping scouts to pay their own way is an important part of the scouting program. Again, there's no inventory to manage for the unit, no delivery, um, really no record keeping from the unit standpoint, with the exception of the number of scouts that are selling and, and we'll send reports out to the unit. And we'll talk about that in a little bit as well, but nothing they'll have to keep records of, uh, for any of that. So very simple from a unit perspective. Again, it does provide some advancement opportunities to, to scouts and really no product or paper to, to distribute to any of the scouts or families. So the commission structure, again, this is a little different than the fall sale. Um, scouts will receive 35% commission on all online sales. And again, there's free shipping on all the orders. So again, 35% commission for all online sales for each order and then free shipping. So that's the commission structure um, that the spring sale will have. So this is a, a kind of a, a chart that shows um, what our current camp fees are and to earn their way to camp. This would, this, uh, and the amount that they would need to sell um, online to pay for that. Now they don't ha obviously have to sell the, the entire amount, um, but by selling that amount, that would allow them to go to camp for free. Um, so you'll see the Scouts BSA camp, our cost is $330. They would need to sell $945 online to pay for that full week at camp. Uh, you'll see also on here Cub Scout resident camp, Weeblos resident camp, and Cub Scout day camp. So depending on uh, what program your, your scouts are in, whether it's Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, um, this will, will be the amount that they will, will need to sell to cover the cost of that camp. Again, you can, you can sell half of that and pay for half of the camp, uh, but this is an incentive to help people to pay their, their full way to camp. So these are the online products uh, that we'll have this year uh, for the spring sale. It will be a movie theater butter microwave 24 pack, a white cheddar bundle, trail mix, salted caramel popcorn, the premium caramel corn with almonds, cashews, and pecans, and some of the coffee products. We'll share that with you here. So this is the, the retail pricing that will be online. You'll see the microwave butter 24 pack is at $30. The salted caramel corn is $30. The campfire blend K cups are $50. The white cheddar bundle, which is two bags of white cheddar uh, corn, is $35. You'll see also we have the donut shop blend coffee ground, ground coffee at $30 the premium caramel corn at 25 and the trail mix is 35. So those are the products online that will be available. So this is the, the landing page uh, where scouts will, um, and I'll share with you the, the address of, of how they get there. This is different than the fall sale from a landing page standpoint, but the rest of the system will look pretty familiar if you uh, did online sales during the fall period. Uh, so the, uh, the site is michigan.trails-n.com, and uh, that will direct you to this page. Again, we show the, uh, the cost of the camp and, and how much scouts need to sell to earn their way to camp. So a little bit different than the fall sale again from a landing page standpoint. Whoops.
So we'll go through real quickly a, a uh, creating an account. Um, you'll point your web browser to, again, michigan.trails. I'm sorry, there should be an S there. Trails-n.com. And that will bring you to this to this landing page. Um, so when you when you uh, once you hit the landing page, you'll have the opportunity to do one of two things: one, either register for a new account or log in to an existing account. So if you've done the online sales program in the fall or previously, you'll be able to log in using the same credentials uh, that you had for that. If you're new, you would register. Um, and just rem remember that uh, parents will have to register scouts that are under the age of 13 uh, so that it, we're COPA compliant. Uh, but if your scouts are over 13, they can create their, their own account. Again, so you'll, you'll land on this page and have one of two options, register for a new account or log into an existing account. Uh, if it's been a while since you've logged in, you can um, recover your username or password that you may have had. Um, and once you, uh, if you have an account, you click log in and down at the bottom there, it's, uh, you can retrieve your username and your password. So again, I would encourage you not to, if you have an account already, don't create a new one, use your existing account. So, There also is a video, tu video tutorial that uh, walks you through how to create an online selling account. And we'll send that out to you again as part of this presentation. Uh, it's about two and a half minutes, but uh, again, creating an account is very simple, very easy. The one thing you will want to remember is when, if you haven't created an account in the past, you will want to select Michigan Crossroads Council. There will be a drop down of, of councils. You want to make sure that your scouts um, account is associated with the Michigan Crossroads Council. In this video, we will talk about online fundraising and how it works. The first step will be to create your online fundraising page. It takes less than 10 minutes to register. Simply click which type of account you would like to register based on if you are a parent or a scout over or under 13 years old. Then simply fill out your scout's first and last name. If you are a parent or guardian, fill out your first and last name as well as your email address. Now you're ready to personalize your scout page. Click on About Me, then upload your profile picture and a description of yourself. Then click the Favorite Product tab above to select your favorite product. After that, it's time to add your own personal goals. Now you can customize your dashboard with your favorite pictures pertaining to the life of a Boy Scout. Step two is to share with family and friends. Our built-in sharing capabilities via text message, email, and social make sharing on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Google Plus, to name a few, easier than pitching a tent. Step three is to receive support. Once your online fundraising page is to your liking, 
your friends and family will be able to place orders on your behalf. The average order value is $65. Step four is to track your online fundraising orders. See who's supporting your fundraiser. Send them a thank you email and request additional support. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to visit www.trails-n.com. Okay, as you can see or maybe hear from that video, it's fairly simple to create an account. And again, we'll send this video out to you as well uh, so that you have it as a reference. So here's some ways that your unit, if you're a unit leader on the call this morning, can help. <coughs> Excuse me. You can promote the... Uh, online sale to your scouts and families. And we have some um, documents that we'll share with you as well as some social media images that you can share with your, your scouts and families uh, to encourage them to participate in the sale. You might want to consider offering some unit incentives to scouts participating. Again, we want to make sure that scouts have the, the opportunity to, to go to summer camp and through this sale, earn some of that camp fee. We'll provide again some email and, and um, social media materials that you can use. And obviously we, we would encourage you to conduct a, a camp promotion to let your scouts and families know about the uh, awesome opportunities that we have in the Michigan Crossroads Council for scouts to go to summer camp. So again, from a unit standpoint, very simple. Um, again, no paperwork, no delivery, no inventory to manage, really just helping to promote, whether it's via email, text message, um, social media, about the opportunity for scouts to earn their way to camp. So I mentioned earlier uh, about unit reporting. Um, Due to IRS regulations, we're not able to submit checks directly to scouts. Um, so at the end of the sale, the unit leader will get a report of the sale and the scouts that participated and how much they sold and what their commission is. And then we will send a check to the unit for that commission earned by that unit uh, for scouts participating online and then the unit can um, credit those those scouts when they when they are paying their camp fees. Um, so that's how kind of the unit reporting will happen uh, this year with the with the spring sale. Again, everything will be sent to to the unit, both a report and the and the check. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the webinar, if you have any, any questions, type them in the chat and we will uh, answer some of those at the end. So. so as I mentioned, we'll have some promotional materials and you'll get copies of this as well uh, after the presentation. There's a scout and parent flyer that explains the online sales, some of the benefits that we talked about uh, in the beginning of the webinar. There's a unit leader flyer about how a unit uh, can help promote the, the online sale and what the unit can do to encourage scouts to sell. Uh, there's some FAQs about the sale. There's also a, a document that's called uh, My Scout Tracker that scouts can fill out, kind of a goal sheet, if you will, as to how much they want to raise, what types of things they want to do at camp, a list of their potential customers uh, that they'll send email or text or social media images to to ask them for support. And then also we'll provide some uh, social media and email images that you can use. You don't have to create any of that. We've done a lot of that for you. Um, all we're asking is, is you to share that out uh, with your scouts and families.
and then also the online uh, account tutorial creation video that you'll be able to, uh, to share with folks as well. So this is a sample of the, uh, and I know some of you are not on video, some of you are just on the phone, but uh, this is a sample of the flyer that is for scouts and parents. It talks about the benefits, um, the dates of the sale, the, uh, the product mix, if you will, or what products will be available online. This is the, uh, the leader flyer, again, for unit leaders and units about how they can help their scouts earn their way to camp uh, through the online popcorn sale. I mentioned the frequently asked questions. This is just a, a sample, and obviously, if you have other questions throughout the sale, we'll, we'll do our best to, to answer those. But um, talks about, you know, if scouts already have an account, do they need to create another one? The answer to that is no. Um, they will use their existing account. Um, you know, is there a tutorial for helping to create an account? The answer is yes. Um, and all of this as well will be posted on our on our council website for you. Um, so just again, some basic questions about the sale. The commission structure uh, talks about free shipping on all orders. And then we talked about the My Scout Tracker. Uh, this is where the scouts, individual scouts, will uh, indicate their goal, which camp they would like to attend, whether it's Cub Scout Day Camp, Weeblos Resident Camp, Cub Scout Resident Camp, Scouts BSA. And this program can also be used for any high adventure trips that the, uh, that the unit may be doing or NYLT training, any of those kind of things. Again, we want to make sure kids have the opportunity to uh, experience a, a summer camp or high adventure program throughout the summer. So again, they have an opportunity on the scout tracker to list the things they want to do at camp and then folks that they want to, to sell to. So that's the, uh, the Scout Tracker. Okay, at this point we'll, we'll take some questions. Um, looks like we've got a few here in the chat. So if you have any questions specifically, let's see. back up. Okay, can a, can a unit, I'm sorry, can a leader with no scout in the program use this to raise funds for the unit or for their camp costs? Yes. Yep. We will. Uh, you, you would create an account just like a scout would, and you can do the the same type of thing. Again, just remember that all the commissions will be issued back to the unit, so it will be the unit's responsibility to uh, credit whether it's scouts or leaders appropriately um, for their sales. How long after the sale ends before we get a commission report? Uh, shortly after the 15th, we'll send you a report of your scouts in your particular unit and how much they've earned. So also if you have a, a online or a, a, a Trails End account for your unit, you'll be able to see some of this information as well um, and be able to run those reports whenever you want to, uh, to see how scouts are doing. But we will send it to you shortly after the 15th with all the information. Let's see. How do we assign the unit leader? 
Uh, that would be typically, uh, we would do that from our records in ScoutNet. Typically, it would be the Cubmaster, Scoutmaster, or committee chair for that particular unit. Um, we can also, if you if you already have an account online for your unit with Trails End, uh, we can send it to the to the colonel. Does the unit that uh, then need to pay for scout camp fees, and we will be reimbursed? So we will send you a, a check for whatever scouts in your particular unit have earned, and then it will be your responsibility to credit those scouts towards their, their camp fees um, for whatever amount they sold, again, depending on the camp that they're going to. We are a new unit. How do we set up a unit account? Um, if you would drop me an email, we will we will take care of that. And I would just need your unit number, um, and then we'll create that account for you in the Trails End system, and then send you the the information. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Some more questions. How long after the sale until commission check is issued? Again, we should be able to wrap this up fairly quickly after the 15th. So I would say within two to three weeks after the, the conclusion of the sale, we will uh, <clears throat> send that check out. And I get a message here from Elena. Checks will go to the committee chair. Um, so if you are with a unit, the, the check will um, we'll go to the, the committee chair. Um, aren't some day camps more than $65? I will double check that, but that was the number I was given for day camps. Uh, looks like that message was from Scott. Uh, we'll, we'll confirm that and, uh, update that page if necessary as well as the, the presentation here. Does fall online sales count towards this? Um, unfortunately, no, because the, uh, the uh, online sales program is, is a calendar year, January 1 through December 31st. Uh, so any of the fall sales uh, do not count towards, towards the spring sale. Hopefully that answers your question. Um, the scholarship will count both for the spring and the fall, again, because it's in between that calendar year of January 1 and December 31st. So if you have scouts that sell in the spring and the fall, they will be eligible to uh, count their sales towards the, the scholarship. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, is there anything the scout needs to do to register for uh, the scholarship program? Yep, once they've uh, done their sales, there's a, a form and we have it on our on our council website uh, that they need to to fill out, submit back to the council. And then we will submit that to to Trails End. What you'll need to do if you're uh, in the scholarship program or considering joining it is make sure you keep records of all of your online sales. Um, in this particular case, it'll be very easy because you have a dashboard. You just need a copy of that along with the, the scholarship application. Again, that gets submitted to the, the council. And then we, we, we sign that and then send it in to to Trails End, and then a, an account, uh, your scholarship account is then created. Uh, let's see, is the weekend summer camp for Cub Scouts included? Absolutely. Um, this is for all of our summer programs, whether it's day camp, um, 
Cub Scout resident camp, Cub Scout family weekends, any of those kinds of things are, are certainly included in that. Um, is this a commission only sale? No prizes. That is correct. It's straight commission, 35%. Uh, there's no prizes. Again, throughout the sale, we'll, we'll do some, uh, some incentives to encourage scouts to continue selling. Um, we'll have a couple of unit incentives. Um, so if you're a unit leader and, and you can encourage your scouts to, to sell, then we will, uh, we'll, we're going to be providing some unit incentives. Um, so the unit that, that generates the most with online sales with their scouts, um, we'll be able to win some prizes. So, okay. Units earn 35% commission on sales. Does the scouts camp fees come out of the unit commission if they reach the Yep, so the 35% uh, the commission that is earned will be sent directly to the unit, and then the scouts camp fees will, will be taken out of, out of that commission. Um, again, this will be the unit's responsibility uh, to make those adjustments when they register their scouts in, in uh, Black Pug. So if uh, camp is, let's say, $100 and a scout raises 30 you're going to use that 30 that we send you um, as part of the commission. And then the scout would be responsible for, or the scout family will be responsible for the rest. Hopefully that makes sense. That was from Kira Kira. Okay, are there any other any other questions? I think I caught them all. Let me just um, let me just see here. There's just other questions. Uh, does the unit register each scout for camp, or do scouts register and the unit reimburses them? That's going to depend on the particular camp. Um, most of the camps you register as a unit, whether it's Boy Scout or Cub Scout, some of the uh, registration does allow for both unit and individual registrations. Uh, but primarily it's, uh, the idea would be hopefully that you would register as a unit. Um, but if individuals register um, by themselves for a particular camp and they've participated in the sale, it would be up to the unit then to reimburse that family for um, the amount that they earn through the online sale. Are the earned commissions restricted only to summer camp? Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it could be used for high adventure for NYLT training, but the idea really is to, to help scouts earn their way to, to go to camp. Um, you know, if a unit encourages people to sell and they want to buy a new trailer, there's no sheriff on the other end, right? We're not going to, uh, once we send you the commission check, that's, that's up to you. What we would ask, though, is that if a scout sells online and goes to camp, that, that the unit makes, that, that the unit gives them the commission that they earned. Um, that's only right and that's only fair. Right, so um, making sure that units um, give those scouts the commission that they've earned um, is important. Let's see here. Are there any uh, scout incentives for the spring sale like Top Popper in the fall? No, no, this is strictly online, no, no extra um, incentives or, or prizes. Again, the, the objective of this sale is to uh, help scouts and families earn their way to, to camp. Um, so it's really a straight commission, no prizes or incentives. Again, with the exception of what we might do throughout the sale to encourage scouts to, uh, 
to keep selling or sell so many items during a particular period. We'll do some drawings for some things, but um, yeah, there won't be any, any uh, additional incentives like there is the fall sale. Um, I believe one of the troops on the call is doing their own summer camp tri trip. Is that an issue? No, as long as, again, as long as you are crediting the scouts that earned um, sales and, and commission, uh, as long as you're crediting them towards that particular trip, that's fine. Um, again, that's something that the, the unit is going to have to to manage and, and uh, handle w amongst themselves uh, once we send the commission check. But uh, that will be up to the unit how to handle that. Okay, are there any other questions? Hopefully we answered them all. Um, Perfect. Will this webinar and documents be available to us today? I'd like to share this information. Yes, we will. Uh, as soon as the webinar is over and the recording is uh, rendered, we will send that out to you along with all the documents that we referenced, uh, the parent flyer, the leader flyer, the FAQs, the scout tracker form. So you'll have all of that stuff as well in your email today. Okay, last call for any questions there might be out there. Again, thanks for joining us this morning. And uh, like I said, we'll send this out, all the information out to you. Um, oh, we got another question. What are the dates of the sale? The sale will begin February 15th and run through April 15th. So a two month window. Um, and you'll see that in the material that we send out as well uh, so that your parents are aware. Um, the, uh, the, let me see if I can, I know some of you are still on telephone, but I will bring up For those of you that are on video, this you'll see this is the uh, the landing page that I that I referenced. Um, again, it little, looks a little bit different uh, when from an entry point from the fall sale, but once you uh, register um, or log in, uh, it will be pretty similar to what many of you might be used to in the fall sale from a platform standpoint. Uh, but this is the uh, the site you can take a look at it. Uh, it's Michigan dot trails hyphen n and e n d dot com is the uh, website. Okay. Without further ado, we will go ahead and end this webinar. And like I said, we will send the, uh, the information out to you so that you have it. And you'll also have our, our contact information if you have any other, any other questions uh, that we might be able to answer for you. So stay safe out there, stay warm, um, and we'll see you down the scouting trail. Thanks, folks. Have a great day.